Greetings everybody, welcome, I am the Phoenix, and I am back again with another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. Two! Last episode, I honestly don't remember what the hell I was doing. But I do remember finishing up uh, the traps, leveling up the town, getting some more people. Gosh, seeing the blueprint was working one thing, but drinking now that the freaking things are there, figure that's downright inspiring. Right, next time the freaking hair force knocking, we freaking be able to freaking give them a jolly good whopping. I am most eager to see them try their luck. And yet, just gonna refuse. I still refuse to see the light. Oh, whoops! Did not want to do that, but oh well. Uh, even after witnessing everything you've done for us, she's always been a stubborn of so and so. Once she has her mind set on something, she never changes it. I cannot help but worry about her. Well, uh, but you need it. Please, don't hold her obsession, freaking obsessity or whatever, uh, against her. What do you want, Jermaine? Or, or Jerome? Run around, or Jermaine is uh, still, uh, still alive. Freaking, it's just as I long expected, the sly old fox. Freaking, he just up and he disappeared. Still, the truth is even more impressive. On the freaking justice orders, he dropped his whole life without a word of farewell and joined the enemy's ranks. Suits, what a shining example of a soldier. But I shan't be undone. I shall put all my soldiery skills to work. Speaking of which, I have a splendid idea. I would have you invent something to aid us in military troops. We must keep our forces from charging blindly into battle. Better to allow your magical traps to do their work than finish off the enemies when uh, whatever. I have calculated the best way to hold the line. Once you have invented some sort of design, Pray place them in the, the... What do you want me to make? Oh! Oh! I get what those are now. And what they do. I thought it was just like another way of like... Oh hey, pretty freaking... New way of making lights. Alright, so I think I just need two, so I'll just make two of these. Bam! I have a total of 13 fire swords. I have to be careful who I give them to because... Traitors and all. So I thought like this was just freaking just be like make this place even more lit up, but I did not know that this is for uh them to camp out right here, wait well let the traps do their thing, and then uh attack. The watch files are just the ticket. Now our troops must uh, can muster up or uh, muster by these torches. Wait for the perfect chance to strike. It's an excellent strategy, you know what you think? Placing the uh, fire, watch fires like, behind the defenses. This way, the enemy shall bear the full blood of their old strength. I'm sorry, but I, I think they're better off in the center. Speaking of which, our soldiers build. A, uh, speaking of our, uh, speaking of our soldiers build. A, it may be merely my imagination, but I can't shake the feeling that we are a couple of men short. They may simply have deserted, but uh, with all this talk about spies among us. I fear a more sinister fate than the freaking befalling times, or whatever. Perhaps I have jumped to conclusions, but nonetheless, I suggest you keep your wits about you. Huh? God, Zeus, what is that? I'd like to think my reign is getting a little bit better. Alrighty. <laughs> Warwick, you get a sword. Zara, you get a sword. 
Uh, Jerome, you get a sword. You don't. Jessica, you get a sword. Now, some of these people, I need to be careful on who gets a sword or not. You're a priestess, and you don't want a sword. Yeah, you can have a sword, why not? So can you. Reason being is because I have yet to see a green. Well, in my file, I have not seen a green uh, person freaking be a traitor. That leaves seven swords unattained for. Um. Mm. Screw it! Friggin, uh, what had, like, what? Friggin 13, so, 8, no, 6, yeah, 6 freaking people having swords, it's good enough. Plus, I, plus eventually I'm gonna give them all freaking moon cleaver, oh, not moon, but mountain cleavers. And by taking care of, I mean freaking clever every last one of them. Ah, gonna kill them all! Attack! Bam! Flame people! Attack with your fire swords! Bring it! Don't let the traps do the work! You do the work! Come on, everybody! Who's been defuddled? Oh wait, that's Marlock. Marlock got defuddled! So easy cause you're ugly. Do 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 do. <sighs> okay. Can't really do a high pitch on Q. I have to like slowly get up to it. I'm not even gonna try anymore. I'm embarrassing myself even more! Which is not a hard task, it's actually pretty easy. Humans, you're not. Oh, you're not freaking just embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> All right, no monkey, no more monkey around. If you freaking want your job done, well, then you have to do it yourself. <laughs> it's a man bat.
And I should have saved the coup de gras for this. Come on, Marloff! Yes! Bam! That got little to no one. Haha! Say hello to my trap! His monkey ass. He's in the thick of it now. And he just jumped out. What the hell did you do? Matters not, you're about dead. You are dead now. Yes! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> no! 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 The Hair Force cannot be defeated! Not by the likes of you filthy, bald humans! You may have won that battle, but you'll never, or you won't win the war! I got heroes. We'll be victorious. <laughs> we did it. Friggin', we beat the hair force. Excellent work, Phoenix. Those, so, like, those friggin' fire traps you friggin' made work like a dream. Not really, friggin'. We kind of just kept them away from it and everything, but hey. I'll take them. I'll take it. Sure. Indeed. So, let us continue to seek out our enemy's weakness, and we may win this war without a single sword being swung. Uh, sorry to break this to you, Granddad, but this fancy trap aren't. Oh, these fancy traps aren't the be all and, and all. We're the ones who actually have put our necks on the line for the free and finish these monsters off. That may be, uh, that as it be, uh, that as may be, that as may be, may that as it may, uh, but every little help, uh, every little helps. Speak a little bit more properly, please. I mean, come on. I have bad time reading, yes, but you gotta admit, Friggin' how do you say, how, how can you say that there? That's as may be? That's like, that's like Kevin talking freaking that one episode freaking the, the Office. But every little helps. Yes, okay, 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 that one I gave it there, but the first four words, come on! Alphos and the Scaffos are still out there, and we will need every tool at our disposal to lay them low. Oh, <clears throat> no. how about that, then? Young Builder, good as new, if you ask me. Hang on, oh, hang on there. Something not right. I can still smell monsters around. Argon preserves us. Argon Argon preserves us. Look, everyone, over there. us from down, down there, you pathetic humans! Damn it all! What do we do? What do we do then? Ring around the rosy, bunker bunker doozy, duck duck 
Goose, you're it! Ah! Uh, uh. ah! Not so fair, or not so tough now, are you? You don't stand a chance against the almighty Air Force! They're here already, but our preparations! We're not ready for another battle! Speak for yourself, I was born ready. Come on, Phoenix, let's get going! Do 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 Get your freaking asses down here! Fine, just leave them there. I'm not Naruto running! Alright, so this part here I actually hate because I actually gotta wait for them to get to a certain level or a certain height before I can friggin' hit them. Upside is though, they can't freaking really break anything. I'm pushing. I, I have the L button down, damn it. Ay, ay, ay. That all of them? Oh, come on. I was so close to hitting the bell. Phew. It looks like uh, it took some doing, but we got them in the end. That flying trick's nasty. What else did you expect from the Air Force? Friggin' we, sh we, shall, we shall have to rethink our defense. They flew right over our friggin' fire traps, not to mention the Great Gate. It was, it was very, uh, it was hard enough to hit them, uh, and uh, just hitting them. We need a friggin' strategy to handle them and. They bring an attack with the masses. Now, uh, how can you talk of defense and strategy at a time like this? What about those two poor souls who just died? Ah, uh, I was getting into her. They're dead. Don't worry about it. Leave them be. Oh, Phoenix, these poor, poor, unfortunate souls. <laughs> I, w I will understand how hard this is for you, as a s uh, sister, but none of us wish to witness death or death. But we are at war. People will die. These men were prepared to pay that price for what they believed in. We all are. They're dead. They're never coming back. I... I don't... Don't want to die. We have to win. No matter what. Damn it. I'm trying to play with a slinky and freaking holding a controller. We must learn of this strategy. Freaking let us add to our strength. Oh, let us add to our strength. Yeah. So that... When the Air Force returns, we are ready for them. Re a vengeance will be ours. I'm sorry, but I am not trusting Warwick any more than I friggin' uh, than I have to, or whatever. You probably ain't friggin' noticed before, but friggin' we like to become friggin' warriors. That rotten Air Force killed two of our men. Friggin' let us be. Let, let, let's join forces with you. Hello, Phoenix. You're looking as cheery as ever. Even among the horrors of war, you managed to keep a smile on your face. Well, what is it? What? The townspeople want me to train them into soldiers? 
Strange they could have, or they, uh, or strange that they didn't ask me themselves. Well, I will gladly instruct them or anyone who is willing to join the war effort, but. Get in! Franken, yes! Thanks for asking us, Franken, 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 to train us, Franken, babe! Franken, we're gonna, you ain't gonna regret it. Don't rejoice just yet. I expect you to train us, though your lives depend on it. One day, they jolly well might. Let's begin with a hundred laps of the castle, uh, uh, laps of the castle grounds. What? Phoenix, you start with them. This may take some time, but in the meantime, I suggest you see the other townspeople. They may have requests on their own. Well, you said a hundred laps around the castle yard, so... Eh. Let's go, Marloff. We got work to do. And they're off. Uh, uh, uh. Damn it, you only got you haven't even gone one lap yet. Shut up. Ah, uh, ah, uh, gotta, gotta make a run. Ah, <coughs> uh, oh god, oh god, oh, hoi. One lap. 99 more to go. Okay. Here we go. Running, 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 gonna go fast. <coughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh, ee. Oh, God, that's so freaking. Oh, yeah. Marloff, how are you not out of breath? Because I'm in shape and you're a fat fuck. I am not fat. You got a beer belly. I don't drink beer. Well, you got a freaking gut. From all that drinking you've been doing. Shut up! Just shut up! Okay? Whew. There's a few sit ups that will help, and uh, I, sh I, sh I should have a six pack again. Right? You're gonna, do, you're gonna need to do more than just sit ups, dude. You're gonna do some cardio. Shut the fuck up! Ah! Let it be known, I'm not fat. I'm average. And yes, with some sit-ups and working out and everything, I could be athletic again. That or built. A built athletic? Athletic build? I don't know what the hell you want to mix it up with. Recent events have served as a snare, a snark reminder of the merciless of the monster's forces and the true horrors of death. I will not give in to this darkness. I will escape this baldy fat. Warwick lost his fa whole family to his to the monsters, his parents, his brothers, his sisters, all slain mercilessly. It's little wonder what uh, that he's keener than any of us to end this war. He hates death with a passion. I don't believe him. Phoenix, if we hope to survive, let uh, let alone defend them. Lend lit, or we must add to our strength. Will you ring the bell once more? When we hear that perfect ping, a will to build awakens in all of us and brings it with a flash of inspiration that we could sorely use to win ourselves more powerful magical weapons. You say the bell responds to the gratitude of your fellow fo or town folks. Yes. If you haven't the power just yet, be sure to ask the people if they have any unrequited whatever, whatever. Jolly good show, Friggin Phoenix. Ringing that bell didn't just inspire the townspeople; it rallied new troops to our cause too. Hmm. 
Not that I am concerned. Well, not that I am concerned. That the blah, 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 spy among us. That's certainly a possibility. But the last thing we need is to start doubting each other. We have enough enemies as it is without making enemies of ourselves. Oh. oh. <clears throat> Consensual sex. There we go. Who, oh, who is your enemy? Is what me or is it and you or is it and me? Who should we trust? Who should we hate? Find out we must before it's too late. Huh? That actually sounds pretty good. Anyway, if there's one person I trust, it is you, Phoenix. I do hope I can feel you can trust me too. I don't trust you with a friggin' dime. And I have little doubt who our next enemy will be. The abominable Air Force. We must find a way to defeat them before, well, yes, before it's too late. Heh, <laughs> his music was quite catchy. Enem you or enemy. And that, that, that's actually pretty good. I like that. Let's go ahead and, uh... Work on the next selected few layers. No. Oh, Phoenix, young man. I hope one day you would notice me. And notice me too. And notice me too. There we go. Man, like I said, I want to get this here, uh... Okay, ultimately, I kind of don't have to worry about them because they're not going to break anything. So that's kind of good. They're just going to be really annoying and messing with people. But, uh, nothing too bad. Where are the evil bird? Where are the evil bird game? See now, I'm starting to uh, question myself because, like, I plan, I would like to go ahead and play more Dragon Quest games, but I would like to also try to put them in chronogenic order, story-wise. Like how how, how I want to go about doing that. It is clear to me that uh, that uh, Dragon Quest Eleven is before three. Three is before one. And one is before two. And that's the whole Elric series. Which I kind of like how they kind of just like did a whole throwback. Uh, as for four, five, uh, seven, I think was supposed to be after two in some shape or form because when it came to America, it was entitled to be Dragon Quest, or oh, Dragon Warrior Seven. And actually had El, well, like story of Elric. Uh, before it's well, well, like instead of being the whole Lodo name, uh, they actually went with the whole Elric, Elric, whatever, freaking Rick, um, crap or whatever. And it makes me think, like, okay, where does that fall in on the whole saga? But uh. Yeah, I, I, like I said, though, I have not played 4, I have not played 5, I have not played 6. I played 1, 2, 3, damn it, uh, 7, 8, a little bit of 9, but not enough to be, uh, like, hey, I played it and everything. Uh, I really want to play 10, but it's in Japan only, and I don't have a Japan freaking system. 
Uh, I played 11. And... I'm not really sure about the monster games. I mean, I played... I played... Uh... Freaking Dragon Quest, uh, uh, Dragon Quest Monster, whatever, freaking, whatever the Monster series was called. Uh, the Joker, Ace Joker, freaking whatever, freaking game. Alright, there, the second layer is done. What are we all celebrating about? Uh, 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 I finished. Normally, I would have them do other thousand lap, uh, another thousand laps around the castle wall, but it wouldn't be deal over dead. Whatever. Hold on. I feel different. You guys need some weapons? Get in. Friggin' now we get fight friggin' with her, friggin' fight with you all, blah blah blah, fight fight fight. Sexy lady, you are in. Why wow, you become a warrior? Would you like to see my sword? My sword, big, long, thick, and strong. You say he means still malice by it, that he may have a bad temper, but he has a good heart. I understand your desire to defend your friend, Phoenix. I have an army to lead. Marloff Mayhem is a distraction, at best. At worst, a threat. I said something th about that man. Whatever drives him to these excesses or whatever, I only hope that it does not bring calamity to Moonbrook. Get the sand out of your vagina! Oh, well, there wouldn't be any sand bringing in your vagina. Get the snow out of your vagina, you cold-hearted... Bitch. Alright, so you guys are now fighter or like friggin' whatever guys. Here. Boom. You got a fire sword. You get a fire sword. You get a fire sword. Uh where's the other guy? Well fine then. No fire sword for that dude. Uh, let's see. Did they cook anything yet? A bunch of nothing. What am I to do now? Uh, of course, it's on the other side of the wall. What do you want, Music Man? Ah, uh, Phoenix. The thought of the two noble warriors. They gave their life in a heroic battle against the Air Force. It's too tragic to bear. But to die, in a, uh, but to die is the faith of all those who live. Just as all who live are doomed to eventually grow hungry. Just listen to my rumbly stomach. Why do you people need to... Why do people need to eat? We hunger day and night. Life is so, so bittersweet. When you really need to bite. Which brings me to my request, dear Phoenix. I think it's about time we upgrade our cooking arrangements. You already built a castle kitchen yes well I think it's time a big table is added and if you could do a crock pot and some crockery on the table it would no longer be a mere kitchen it would be a castle cafeteria our populations grows and there's more mouth to feed but our wise builder knows just what our kitchen needs No, tell me, what do we need? 
da 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 Okay, so nothing up here. Nothing here. Carpet steps. Nothing there. Yes. I'm not going to do it just yet. Crockery. Uh, crock pot, yes. Alrighty. Let's go in. Improve the kitchen. Spread it out. I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. Put that there. Bam! It's a buffet! <laughs> well, would you look at that? You took a plain and functional kitchen and turned it into a beautiful gas and cafeteria. That really wealth of freaking appetite. No doubt the townspeople will be inspired to use any ingredients they find in the friggin' chest to make all sorts of delicious food stuff. Of course, I find I would never dream of doing such things. It would be a mortal sin, strictly prescribed. I forget of the whatever. Speaking of Argon, do you think it's true that one of his spies has infiltrated the castle? I hear fevers whispering. I, I hear, yeah, I heard fevers whispering of treason and treachery, but what real harm has actually been done? If there's a traitor among our, uh, in our midst, they are not the most efficient fellow. But what if they are merely biding their time until one day, oh my, mine runs wild with the possibilities. Any one of us could be the spy. What if it were Warwick? I say it is Warwick. He's so noble and upstanding, almost suspiciously so. Or Zara. She's not. She's not. She's just a whore. There's something curious and seemingly about her. She's a slut. <laughs> or what about Lord Jermaine? Or, or, or Jermaine? Or Jamal? Friggin' he might be a double agent turning the, turned by the monsters during his time among them or whatever. What? It could be me? That'd be ridiculous. I am a devoted disciple of the children, but espionage is not one of my many talents. Sure it is! I played the bard's tale! Let's go ahead and get all that heart. Bing bong ding dong. Here comes my ding dong. I'm astonished on the repairs you made on the Moonbrook. The power of the skilled builder is truly a wonderful, wonderful. That being said, I'm certain you could make our home even greater. There's no need to be modest, boy. I know you have it in you. If we want our soldiers to be even, uh, have every advantage in battle to come, we must provide them with a well-stocked armory. All the room needs is some chests, two barricades, and four pieces of ornament equipment of some subscription or other. Another. Okay, I know what I'm going to do with that there. Do 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 I already got the chests in here, right? Okay, so I already got two chests. Okay, good. So I don't need that. Two armors. Okay, fine, I'll just do four then. I'll do four of these. Barricades.
Bam! Oops. Ha ha! There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright. Come on, Jamal! Is this not what you want? Don't make me hunt you down. Come to work. Come to work, Phoenix. You've built, an, you've built us an armory. What a fine young man you are. Now you need to friggin' hang or hand out new swords. Now you need to hand out new swords to our soldiers one by one. You need to put them in the friggin' chest, and everyone can help themselves. And this way, our arm, or our army can quickly take advantage of all your advancements in all blah 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 blah. Oh, that's kind of neat. Speaking of warfare, friggin' I know, I know that builders are not born warriors. Do you not find the frantic chaos of battle trying? Well, a mere eye a builder. I want, I would want to stay away far from the friend. I would stand on top of my walls and launch projectiles at my foes, even those in the air. An intimidating prospect is not, uh, is it not? Upon, uh, think upon this idea, young builder, and be inspired. Fine, I'll make some bombs. <coughs> boom ball! Oh, boom ball, you say? That's a fine idea if I ever heard one. I imagine you'll be needing some friggin' bomb, blah 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 beams. Well, if we can just make some beam 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 beams. I should still have some. Oh wow, I have one. I thought I had more than that, but eh. Jamal, you're not. The castle defenses is stronger than ever before, or never now, and we oh, we recruit new soldiers by the day. Our preparations to defeat Argon's army proceeds a spade. A, a pace or whatever. But I fear that some of our new recruits might need a little more combat training. I was wondering if you could build us a room to have sex. Uh, do our, I mean, to do our training. Uh, we'll need plenty of arms and targets to practice with. I would say... Two sets of uh, spear ornament thingamajigs, four dummies, and uh, four wooden fort well, fortifications or whatever should be enough. I don't mind where you build the new freaking place. Uh, so long as it gets built sooner rather than later, I am extremely horny and want to get the banging guys and everything left and right. Maybe a girl. I got my eyes on sister. Um, Okay. Wait, she's in the other chick? Oh, she, I think she's just a freaky deaky slut. A swinger. I think I heard about those women. Oh, those kind of women. I heard they're like... Marloff, let me put it this way. She's a woman you do not want to have sex with because she could have an STD. There's that STD word again. Friggin... Uh, there are three letters or whatever. Friggin... You, you said that about Babs, you said about that about Lulu, friggin, I'm not gonna think you're, you, you just don't want to have sex with any women. Oh, come on, I had sex with friggin, Lu, oh, friggin Babs. Yeah, but, did you? Yes! Did you? Yes! Alright. I mean, did you not hear her moaning and hear us friggin going at it friggin on the boat? Uh, okay, I'll give you that one there, fine, but... Did you? Yes, we did, okay. 
All right. Does she have an STD? Nah, she's clean. Remember, you guys said, uh, like, she kind of confirmed it with you guys and everything, saying that uh, it was all just to tease me. Oh, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> ah, best trick I, best freaking prank we ever played on you. Yeah, don't do it again. But what about her, though? Freaking, what, what, what about Zara? No, 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 Zara definitely has SCD. Like, literally, as a friend, don't tell her. Or at least don't insert inside of her or wear some kind of protection. I got my sword, or I got this club. Not the kind of protection I'm talking about. Uh, well, whatever, fine. Alright, so I'm gonna put the training grounds right here. Because the way I'm gonna think about it is... You know, all right, so here's the training grounds. They come out. They're going to be hungry, tired out and everything. Boom, come over here, grab some water, get something to eat. We're going to have this here because then, like, boom, they can bring food over here. And... I don't know, might make this here a bathroom. Hmm... I'll put that I'll put that idea on hold. It'll be on hold for the time being because I feel like I'm gonna have to remodel this entire place. Don't care. Do I have enough doors? Do I have any doors? I have plenty of doors. Uh, whoops. Ten minutes left. Yeah, but <clears throat> monsters have ran away. All right, so dummies. Not registering it as a room. Why? So 
Because it's too big? That's probably the reason. Alright, well, let's knock some walls down. There we go. Ranger it. Yes. Gosh, this training room is fantastic. Even better than I imagined. Thank you so much, Phoenix. Now that we have somewhere to fuck, I mean train. Our soldiers can practice a uh, uh, practice day and night until they uh, until they're strong enough and take uh, and skilled enough to go toe to toe with the fiercest of foes. That that's if the spy doesn't get to us first. Uh, this friggin' spy nonsense again. Are you still going on about that? This isn't nonsense. The other night, I thought I saw a monster inside the castle. What if one of our allies is really a monster in disguise? And that's not all. I found some marks on the castle wall that look as if someone was trying to tunnel through from the inside. Either there's a monster in the castle, or someone's working for them. I'm sure of it. Uh, so why? I don't care what they get up to in the friggin' their spare time. It's what they friggin' it's what they do on the friggin' battlefield that counts. I'm friggin' not gonna friggin' start second guessing my fellow fighters. You think too friggin' you think so too, right, Phoenix? Uh you know what? I'm gonna have the side on I'm gonna have the side on with him with this one. Time goes short, Phoenix. You and Jessica must begin working on another magical weapon to help us defeat the friggin' elf. And indeed, the fiends fly over our friggin' current defenses. We had to identify their weakness and modify our fortification to take advantage of it. But before that, let us begin laying the other another blueprint to expand our current system of walls and traps. We can add whatever invention uh, what inventions later. Bring blah blah blah. How much more blocks do I have to lay down for the floor? Um, I would say that I'm halfway done. You're already finished. Goodness me, it's enormous. You certainly don't waste any time, do you, Phoenix? The location marks, uh, question marks, are your new anti-air devices, yes? Just these friggin' things here. What a blueprint! What a blueprint! Consensual <clears throat> six. Hey, how's it going? All right. What a blueprint! What a plan! But our foes is strong indeed. I shall give what I I can. I think I have a lead. A lead? Hmm. Ask him what he means by that, would you? I don't think I could survive another second of listening to his. Caterwauling. The talents, people, and I will start working on the friggin' blueprints as soon as you prepare for the chest and blah blah blah. And with that said, I'm not giving you guys a chance for it. I need to finish the friggin' floor.
You guys will back off. Anything you build, I'm gonna destroy it too! They just don't know. Yeah, I'm halfway done, shit. time so I think I'll end this video as soon as I get done with the floor So much to build, so much to see. So what am I gonna do with something? Do 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 do. I apologize for being quiet and whatnot right now. Another thing's going on, and I'm half tired. Well, like I'm starting to get a little tired, tired. But I have to make more videos so that way I don't fall behind on my schedule for the channel. Being again two videos a day, and I really don't want to fall behind. Right now, I'm ahead by a week. I mean, I literally got like maybe enough videos for up until like the fifth, and I think that's like next Wednesday. But uh, the more I have, the better I can be for uh doing whatever. done And it has been an hour now. But like I said, I'm going to end it after I get done with the floor. And then I'll do maybe one more episode and then go to bed. Oh, 
destroy some of the freaking blocks I just laid down, but oh well. Oh, so far they are actually being pretty nice on the uh, building stuff. Staying out of my way. Really should freaking delete, uh, freaking remove that ceiling. I did it to get rid of the snow. I don't think it's going to be covered. Uh, anything else is going to be covered with snow anymore. Oh, yeah, that's right. They can't even freaking build anything if they wanted to, anyways. I took everything. One down too many by mistake. There we go. are now made I don't know if it goes past this all I know is the freaking third freaking blueprint just adds on to this whole thing and god damn freaking the town's freaking so huge if it wasn't for this blueprint I would be probably freaking being like questioning on where to put everything Anyways, that's all for this episode here. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm the Phoenix, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye